Practical Exercise 1 Geometry and Measurement The objective of this practical exercise at the end of the lesson, students will be able to first constructing a rectangle, second measuring length, area and angle, and third find the perimeter of rectangle. First of all, we need to open new GeoGebra file. Before we construct a rectangle, we need to hide this algebra window, input bar and coordinate axis. So, we select view tool and untick on axis to hide the coordinate axis. And we select view tool again, untick on algebra view to hide the algebra view. And the last one, we click view tool again and untick on input bar to hide the input bar. Next, we want to change the labeling setting to the new points only. So, we select Options tool, click on Labeling and choose New Points Only. Now, we will learn how to construct a rectangle. First, we select Segment Between Two Points tool and we draw segment AB. Next, we want to add a perpendicular line to segment AB through point B. So, we select perpendicular line tool and next we click on point B first and then we click on segment AB. And as we can see, a perpendicular line appear. So next, we select New Point Tool and click on the perpendicular that we draw just now to insert New Point C here. Next, we want to draw a parallel line to segment AB through point C. So, we click on Parallel Line Tool and we click on Point C first and then we click on Segment AB. And the parallel line will appear here. So next, we want to add a perpendicular line to Segment AB through Point A. So, we select Perpendicular Line Tool. We click on Point A first and then we click on Segment AB. And Perpendicular will appear here. Next, we select New Point Tool to locate and label this intersection point as Point D. Now, we are going to produce a rectangle. First, select Polygon tool and produce polygon by selecting all the points. We start from click on point A to point B, point B to point C and point C to point D. And we have to click on point A again to close the polygon. So, we have a rectangle here. From the rectangle that have been produced just now, we can measure the length of each side and the perimeter of the rectangle. So, the steps are select the distance or length tool, click one side of rectangle to measure its length, and by using the same tool, click the other three sides to measure the length of each side.
So now as we can see, we have the length for line A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A. Now by using the same tool again, distance or length tool, click on the rectangle to measure the perimeter of A, B, C, D. And as we can see, the perimeter here is equals to 29.36. After we measure the length and the perimeter of the rectangle, so now we want to measure the area of the rectangle. First, we select on area tool and click on the rectangle. And we get the area of ABCD is equal to 48.77. So lastly, we are going to measure all the angles. The steps are, we select on angle tool. And we click on line AD and line AB. So, as we can see, the angle 4.A is equal to 90 degree. So, then we continue to measure all the angle for point B, point C and point D. By using the same tool again, we click on line AB and line BC to get the angle for point B. And we click on line BC and line CD to get the angle for point C. And the last one, we click on line CD and line AD to get the angle for point D. After we measure all the angles, don't forget to save this file. Click on File, select Save As, name it as P E one and click on button save. 